Miss Minnie Lou, at nine years old, already showing livestock. Did she know then that she would be called a pioneer, a groundbreaker in the years to come? Like I said, she's very, uh, definitely a trailblazer. And she was the first female student in the animal science, now at that time, the animal husbandry department. And she was ended up being a lady of many firsts. First woman uh, to graduate in animal husbandry at Oklahoma a and First woman on the livestock judging team. And was the first woman to win the international livestock judging contest in Chicago. <laughs> Minnie Lou Bradley uh, basically is a legend. What was it like? joining the historically all-male OAMC livestock judging team. When she came to school here in the early 50s, obviously it was a very much male-dominated animal husbandry department. And, uh, and she set herself to, that she was going to be uh, on the livestock judging team and was told that she couldn't be and, and wouldn't be. And she said, just watch me. At the time, when she first started, they didn't allow her to, to travel with the judging team when they went to Denver, and when the coach came home, the, uh, the provost apparently had, had visited with Minnie Lou and then called the coach in and said, if you're going to take her money for tuition, you've got to allow her to travel with the team. And travel she did, earning high individual in beef cattle at the American Royal, and was the very first woman to win the International Livestock Judging Contest in Chicago in 1952. Now, Minnie Lou's first didn't stop with graduation. One of those that was really memorable and, and, and really uh, showed her leadership was that she became the first female president of the American Angus Association, which would be the largest beef breed in the world. She continues to shape and improve the beef cattle industry on her Bradley 3 ranch in the Texas Panhandle. They've helped develop one of the first branded beef products, and she learned to work with the rugged conditions of the Panhandle. She had a vision, uh, a vision of, of producing cattle that would uh, perform well in that environment, that would excel in meat quality, uh, and would be profitable for the, the area ranchers. And I think that's why they're really popular today and why they sell well is because she has developed cattle that are adapted to her environment. Last year, Minnie Lou was only the second woman to have her portrait hung in the saddle and sirloin gallery recognizing distinguished livestock industry leaders. She's had an influence here at Oklahoma State, particularly now that our department is uh, a little over 70% female. To think back that we're now able to honor the lady, the first lady, to come into the department, I think is quite a tribute to her. Minnie Lou Bradley, a 2015 Distinguished Alumni of the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources at Oklahoma State University.